Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from azureautomation.com and welcome to another video for test project course and in this video we're going to talk about all new unified open SDK of test project. So this is a new feature released just a couple of days before with this unified open SDK we can now write Selenium and Appium test with native codes which means we can use our own existing test code that we wrote with our Selenium syntax and Appium syntax we can directly use the same thing with this open SDK of test project. So this is very, very exciting. And test project has released this just for the benefits and the sake of the community. And you can see how awesome it is and how easy it is while working with the existing code. I'll quickly show some of the snippets in this particular video. But yes, this is the open SDK all about. So let's get into the open SDK itself. So what is this open SDK? With test project's open SDK, users have a bunch of time and enjoy the following benefits out of the box. Something like 100% open source and availability as a Maven dependency, and 5 minutes simple Selenium and Appium setup with single agent deployment, automatic test report in HTML PDF formats, which is really, really cool because now you don't really have to specify anything on the steps to inform that you need to take screenshot for each and every steps and need to report the steps that is being executed to the test project platform. Everything is going to be taken automatically using this automatic test reporting features of this open SDK and collaborative reporting dashboard with execution history and RESTful API support. So you can get the report from the RESTful APIs which is provided by Test Project's API platform and you can gather the report directly from there. And always up to date with the latest and stable Selenium driver version. This is really cool because you don't really have to change the Chrome driver version or the Geekho driver version if your browser version changes. Test Project will take care of that because Test Project agent always keeps everything up to date for you so you don't have to really maintain it. A simplified familiar syntax for both web and mobile application which we already know and a complete test runner capabilities for both local and remote execution anywhere using the test agent and it has a cross-platform support for Mac, Windows, Linux and Docker and also it stores and executes the test locally on any control tools such as Git. So these are the new features of the Open SDK. and with Open SDK, it also opened an all new way of working with our existing code which is a really good news because now if you talk what is the code change that you have to do with your existing code then I would say just two lines of code. That's the maximum line of code that you need to be changing and based on your dependency probably you may need to update your plugins in your project a bit more to the latest version but yes this is the maximum code change that you need to be doing within your project. So if you ask me what is the code change once again, like what are the lines of code that you need to be changing for adapting to the open SDK of test project. First of all, you need to replace your existing org.openqa.selenium.chrome.chrome driver while working with Selenium itself to io.testproject.sdk.drivers.web.chrome driver. That's it. This is the only change that you need to make. And because you have made the changes to the Chrome driver, you also need to make changes to the Chrome driver which is available over here. And again, you don't really have to explicitly pass the token because the token can be also obtained using the environment variable. So you can gather the environment variable right into your project because this is something which is very, very handy while working with the CI CD. You can't really just hard code the token obtained from the test project platform. So you can pass that from the environment variable. Just for the demonstration purpose, I have shown you that you need to pass the token, but you don't really have to do it. You can directly pass the Chrome options. That's it. It just works without any problem. So this is the only code change that you need to be doing and your code is gonna seamlessly work without any problem. And if you ask about the dependency, this is the only dependency that we need to add with our existing code. Once it is done, the rest of the things are gonna be taken care of automatically. And with this comes a lot of benefits. The benefits are this. Now with native support of Selenium and Appium code, along with the automatic reporting, Test Project has opened a whole new way of using the SDK along with our existing code, which we already discussed, which is really a great benefit. And we can even use Cucumber, Extent Reporting, TestNG or JUnit or whatever libraries that we want within our test code and then we can use it. That's an even more beneficial feature which is available with the new open SDK. And also if you ask about 
the reporting in test project platform it is going to be automatic as well which means it will automatically take the names of the test method as the test name and package name as the project name and it's going to create it for you so we'll see all these magics in action so that you can get a holistic picture of what i am really talking about in here so for that i'm going to flip to my safari browser right now all right so this is the github page of the java sdk and this is the new open SDK released by the test project, which is really, really cool as I told you, because it has all the documentation details of whatever that we just discussed. And you can see that it has the dependency information and what are the code chains that you need to make within your test code. That's it. And you can see that this is the only line of code that you need to be changing. And within the test code, you're gonna use the Chrome driver and that's it. And you can see that they also have a very small example of how to execute the code. Actually, I have already created a project and I have copy pasted this code and I will quickly show you by executing this code and you can see that the report is going to be generated in the test project platform for you, which is nothing but this test project platform. The test code is going to be executed in your machine and the report is going to be shown in this particular test project platform. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip to IntelliJ IDE over here. And you can see that this is the same code that I have just copy pasted from the GitHub repo page of this project. So I've not even changed even a single line of code here. I've just copy pasted the code and I'm going to run this particular code. But the only change that I have made is I have added the environment variable for this particular project over here. So if you go to the edit configuration, you can see that I have added this TP underscore dev underscore token is equal to my API key or my development API key, which you can obtain if you go to the integration, there is something called as get developer token and you can acquire your developer token from here and then you can use it and then you can start running that code from here. That's it. This is the only thing and make sure that you have the latest version of test project agent as well because that is also required so that you can execute with the latest and the greatest changes which the team has made. So I'm just going to run this particular test and you will see all the magic is going to happen. And within this code, you can see that this is a very, very normal Selenium code that I'm executing currently. There is nowhere that I have mentioned anything about the reporting and kind of stuff. It is just a normal Selenium operation like find element, perform a send key operation, and it is going to verify if the element is being displayed and then the test is going to be passed if it is. That's it. This is the only thing which is being done here. But if I go to the test project platform this time, if I go to the monitor, you can see that this test has been executed just now. And if I just open the report over here, you can see that I get a report. And if I just download the full report over here, you can see that I get a report with all the details that I have executed, which is really, really cool. So this is one of the greatest feature which the test project open SDK has added for us. And all this automatic reporting is going to come for us, which is really, really cool and pretty insane. And the next thing is because you think this is like a pretty normal, simple Selenium code and it is executing fine without any problem. But what if your project has other libraries, something like Cucumber, test ng extend reporting and stuff and you want to see that if this particular code change is also working fine without any problem so in order for doing that i'm going to open one more project which i have already created and that particular project already exists in the github repo of execute automation so if you just go to the github.com slash execute automation repository you can see there is something called a selenium with cucumber and this is the same project which I'm going to be using this time. But just that I'm going to be changing with the test projects SDK and we'll see how it actually going to work. All right. So now you can see that this is the code that I have downloaded from the GitHub repo. I just cloned it in my machine and then I'm going to run this code and I will show you how the code is going to be executed. So once I run this, what's going to happen is basically it is going to open the browser and it is going to run two tests for us over here and the test got passed. The reason being I'm actually using the Chrome driver of Selenium using the normal Selenium operation. So it is running with the feature files like this and these are the step definitions and this is the hooks. It also generates a report for us. So everything is working fine without any problems, which is pretty cool. And now I have already added the dependency for the test project over here. Something like this. You can see that it has the Java SDK of 
0.63.2 which is nothing but exactly the same thing that I can see which we can see from here so I just added that dependency over here and the only change which I'm gonna make this time is I'm gonna import the IO of test project dot SDK driver dot web dot Chrome driver which is nothing but the test projects Chrome driver and instead of this driver you can see that now we're getting an error here so I'm just gonna comment this particular piece of code instead of this code what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use the builder pattern of the test project but I'm also gonna show you with token option which is available along with the test project if suppose you're not very fan of an environment variable you have another options as well like using the builder pattern you can pass the token and you can also perform a build operation and you can also specify the remote agents and stuff so you can use the builder patterns as well so I'm just gonna do that over here so all I have did is I'm just gonna use the same base dot driver over here of new driver builder of the Chrome driver and with project name so I'm just gonna call this project name maybe test project from cucumber and this is gonna be my first job let it be and this is my test project token and this is the uh, build which is gonna perform the build operation for the Chrome driver with the options that's it this is the only code change I'm gonna be making and you can see that the rest of code is gonna work fine without even a single code change and if I execute this particular piece of code, now what I'm hoping is it should open the Chrome browser for me, as you can see over here. And you can see that the test is working fine, pretty much exactly like, like how it was executing with my usual Selenium code. And the test got passed as well, which is pretty cool. And now if I go to the test project and if I go to the monitor this time, you should see two tests being executed for me over here and now if I just go and open the report you can see that the test project from Cucumber is coming in the name which I gave and this is the first job which has been executed and this is the report and now if I just open the full report you can see that I get the full report as well which is all pretty cool so now everything is automatically generated for me and the test is executing without any problem and this is the actual power of the new test projects open SDK and this is really really powerful and now we can see that we can seamlessly use our existing code with test projects platform and we can enhance our coding practices with test project and also we can leverage the power of the powerful test projects agent and test projects platform reporting and the PDF reporting much much simply using this open SDK so once again thank you very much for watching this video and you have a great day.